Greetings of the day, dear students. In this class, we are going to discuss about the principle of operation and construction of an alternator, and we will discuss its uh, different types of uh, equipment, uh, armature or stator, and rotor or magnetic field system. And again, uh, the classification in rotors we are having like salient pole type rotor and smooth cylindrical type rotor all those things are to be covered in this video right now coming to the uh, principle of operation the ac generators or alternators are going to operate on the same fundamental principle of electromagnetic induction as we have discussed earlier in dc generators right so simply to say the fundamental principle is electromagnetic induction in alternators and it is going to consist of armature winding and also the magnetic field winding so one important difference we can observe between the dc generators and alternators is right in dc generators armature rotates and the field system is stationary whereas in alternators the armature will be stationary right and the field system will be rotating this is the difference we have to observe now coming to its principle of operation what happens is as and when the rotor is rotated by the prime mover and the stator winding or the conductors are cut by the magnetic flux of the rotor poles because of this what happens is an emf will be induced in the stator conductors now the induced emf frequency is given by f equals to pn by 120 where p indicates the number of poles right and n indicates the speed in rpm and the direction can be found by applying the fleming's right hand rule now because of this uh, induced emf right uh, the current will be flowing Now coming to its construction, right, the alternator is uh, going to consist of two parts, uh, namely the armature or stator, armature or stator and the field magnetic system or or rotor. Coming to the armature or stator, it is going to consist of the stator frame, right, and the stator core will be there and the, the stator frame will be used for holding the armature uh, windings in position right now this armature core will be supported by the stator frame and it is built up of uh, laminations of uh, steel alloy or magnetic iron now this is laminated in order to reduce the eddy current loss and also the stator is made up of number of slots on its inner periphery as you can observe in the shown figure this is the stator core and it is going to have the in the inner periphery it is going to have the number of slots where the winding will be placed. The winding that is placed will be the armature winding. Now it is laminated uh, in order to reduce the eddy current losses. Right? Similarly, with respect to the rotor or magnetic field system, we are going to have two types of rotors. One is the uh, salient pole type and another one is the smooth cylindrical type. Now this is the figure with respect to the salient pole type rotor and we can observe it is going to have the projected poles on this we are going to have the field winding right now this field winding will be excited with the help of some small DC generator which will be mounted on the shaft of the alternator itself here we can observe the poles are projecting outside right now these poles are made up of thick laminated steel sections which are uh, pivoted together in order to minimize the eddy current losses whereas in uh, you can observe in stator the lam it is laminated the core is laminated in order to uh, reduce the eddy current losses there it is laminated in order to reduce the eddy current losses there similarly here also the core will be laminated in order to reduce the uh, eddy current losses right here this uh, magnetic wheel will be made up of uh, either cast steel cast iron sorry or uh, steel which is having a good magnetical uh, magnetic quality 
right now here uh, such kind of rotors for example uh, this one salient pole type rotors will be used in the uh, medium speed alternators uh, which will be characterized by uh, having a large diameter and uh, they are going to have the short axial length the diameter will be large but uh, the axial uh, the axial length will be short most of the times these the alternators are driven by diesel or or uh, uh, gas engines and gas turbines are going to have the salient pole type uh, rotors similarly uh, with respect to the smooth cylindrical type uh, this is the diagram you can observe this is a non salient pole type and uh, here we are going in these slots we are going to have the field winding and the rotor is going to consist a smooth solid steel cylinder which is which is having a number of slots along its uh, outer periphery in order to hold the field coils right and this it is not going to have any projector poles uh, instead of that it is going to have uniform length in all the directions and it is going to have a cylindrical shape right now the poles are unslotted here the rotor is going to have the four poles in this context in this example now the poles will be surrounded by the field windings which are placed in the slots now the windings are placed so that the flux density will be maximum on the polar central line and it is going to gradually decrease on either sides of the on the either sides right and you can observe here it is going to have very long axial length but the smaller diameter and the machines uh, uh, which are built uh, with the ratings from uh, some 10 mva to over uh, 1500 mva you can observe this uh, uh, type of uh, rotor right and also the rotor is generally used for very high speed operations at uh, 3 3600 rpm and uh, so this is also called as uh, turbo generators which are employed in the alternators driven by the steam turbines so these are the uh, key features of the smooth cylindrical type rotor and uh, with respect to the salient pole type rotors you can observe this is the diagram and uh, this is with respect to the construction and uh, out of this discussion one more important point is frequency frequency of the induced emf will be pn by 120 right thank you